guys, so I actually filmed this whole red eye tutorial get ready with me thing a little bit ago and then the footage ended up being just not usable and then I realized I could fix the footage but then I'm too lazy because there's too many clips to edit if I were to fix the lighting in it so I'm like I'm just gonna refilm it. So we're finally doing the red eye look that has been ever so requested ever since I started wearing red eye shadow. So I am using the ever controversial Lime Crime Venus palette and I know there's a lot of current controversy over Lime Crime right now and Doe Deer. Uh, I have mixed feelings about it but I never really talk about controversial current events with you guys for a reason because I don't like all the fighting that happens in the comments. So if you bring up anything controversial about it I'll probably delete the comment just because I don't like to deal with that kind of stuff. Like I talk about controversial issues Blah. Like I don't mind talking about religion, politics, gay marriage, but current events? No. Also my shirt has cockroaches on it. Look at how cool this is. Isn't that awesome? I got it off a of Depop. I love it so much. So the first thing that I've been doing lately in my makeup routine is spraying my face with the Mario Badescu rose water type spray. Uh, it has aloe herbs and rose water in it so it smells like roses. I love this stuff. It smells amazing and it just makes my face super hydrated. And I just kind of let that sit for a second and that for me really makes it so my foundation goes on really smooth and it doesn't cling to any dry patches because I do have dry skin so typically foundations tend to cling to those but that really prevents it and moisturizing beforehand which I did not do. I'm lazy. That's easier. So kind of boring but I'm going to stick to my Tarte Amazonian Clay foundation that I oh so love. I've been using this for a while now. It's the full coverage foundation and then I'm going to be using my Real Techniques a uh, br buffing brush with that. So it's been about a week since I got my Invisalign and I'm definitely really used to it now. The pain has completely gone away. It doesn't hurt anymore at all. So this next week will probably be a breeze and then when I have to switch trays. I've heard that after the first couple tray sets after you switch, it's not so bad. I'm just gonna do some quick concealing with my Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer because I don't feel like I need to have super full coverage right now. My skin's been doing pretty good. Sorry about the lisp here and there. It's just, it's with the trays in, you know? You know how that goes, people. So I like to use this under my eyes, which is a normal spot for concealer, and also in the higher points of my face to kind of highlight a little bit because it is a paler, wow, pale, paler. So there's a couple more get ready with me's that I'm planning. Um, the Soothing Sista palette, I am planning to do a get ready with me because a lot of people requested in my Q&A video the makeup I was wearing. I was wearing a Soothing Sista palette and then I had some new lipsticks so I tried that out. Anyway, I'm going to do a tutorial on that and then also the look I was wearing in my Invisalign experience video. A lot of people like that so I'll be doing get ready with me's for both. Next is eyebrows, and I'm going to be using this little teensy tiny brush and the Anastasia Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. Speaking of eyebrows, I'm going to be changing my eyebrow color of Dip Brow because I'm going to be changing my hair color. It was quite the topic on today's Twitter, today's Twitter, on Twitter today, um, because I am changing my hair color. I'm kind of bored with the dark brown, plus it's getting into be, well, I can't do brows from afar. Like, my mirror's all the way over here, and I cannot do this. But I want a different hair color for spring. I'm in the mood for a change so feel free to guess what color hair I'm doing. It's going to be a surprise and I'm not going to tell you guys before I do it because clearly it was a topic of conversation and a lot of people were trying to guess and I Okay, this brow situation is just not happening. Some of you guessed it right on Twitter and most of you got it wrong, so I'm sorry. And I feel like I've been super MIA from you guys and like on multiple platforms, like my horror channel and just in general, I've been kind of absent. Um, I've been really stressed out from school and that's, you know, nothing new, you guys know that, but it has been pretty hectic this semester. And, uh, you know, I've gotten comments like I shouldn't make promises I can't keep, but a lot of the promises that I made about what was going to happen with this channel were before I realized how hard school was going to be this semester, so I don't want you guys to feel like I'm trying to disappoint you or like, you know, making promises I can't keep because I have every intention of keeping these promises that I've made about, you know, expanding my channel, putting better quality videos out there and stuff like that, but... 
I just want you guys to know that it might be a little delayed when those things happen. Like exactly when those things happen because, okay, I can't talk and do brows at the same time apparently. Because of school, because you know, that is my first priority and I really gotta dedicate myself to school. Next I'm using the Hard Candy Brows Now uh, Brow Gel, which is, looks like this, like little mini mascara. I love this stuff for my eyebrows, but the color is very dark, which works now. It's just an off brow day though, so do not look at my eyebrows right now. Just don't look at them. They are just horrendous. I don't know what is happening. Like, really? You had to do that to me? Next, we're going to contour, and I'm going to be using my NYX blush in taupe. It's just, you know, a taupey color, just like that. And I'm using a Real Techniques contour brush, which this brush, let me just say. Oh, apparently I'm that excited I throw it around. I'm sorry. And then I use the same brush for everything, so now I'm going to highlight. I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay a blush mini thing in, what is this, Angelic. And then I'm gonna be taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in by Candlelight. Next I'm gonna be using the Essence, what is this, Long Lasting Eye Pencil. It's one of those mechanical ones because I'm too lazy to sharpen things, so mechanical is awesome. Sorry about my nails, by the way. Uh, speaking of which, I'm just gonna tight line and waterline. Oh, hey. I'll get back to the nail thing in a second. I gotta do, I gotta focus on the tight lining. Okay, hold that thought about the nails. I'll get back to that, but we're gonna move on to the eyes shadow. So now we are going into the Venus palette. So the first color we're going to take is this one here, which is called Divine, which has been my all-time favorite color in this palette lately, which is surprising. Um, but it's a beautiful taupey color, but it comes across as red, just you wait. I'm taking this fluffy brush, and I'm going to dip that in and really concentrate that on the brow bone crease area. Uh-oh, someone's coming for me, huh? So this is just going to give some definition on the upper part of the eye, since most of the focus is going to be on the lower eye. eye. <laughs> Feel free to drag some of that onto the lid, just kind of work it around. So the best perk about Invisalign is you are forced to stop biting your nails. I cannot bite my nails anymore. Like, you don't understand how big that is for me. I mean, I've been biting for 20 plus years, and for me to no longer be able to do that is scary. Like, it's hard. I want to just bite them, but if they look a little, you know, raggedy in right now, that's because they are. They're healing. Um, they are just horrendous. But hopefully, in this process of straightening my teeth, we fix our nails, too, because those are my two biggest self-conscious things about myself that I'm most self-conscious about is how I should have phrased that. So now we are going to go into the color Muse, which is the red shade with just an angled brush like this. You guessed it, we're taking that along the lower lash line. And this is supposed to be really, really messy, like a super messy look when I wore it super messy. That's some people uh, wanted a tutorial, so... I'm just going off of that. It looks really bad in the beginning, but trust me, when you blend it all out and stuff, it looks really cool. I still haven't decided what lip I'm going to do with this because I really want to do something different, but I think the first time I wore this look, it was a nude, so I don't know. You guys tell me what look, what lip should I do? Nude, red? black. Then I'm going to take a little pencil type brush and go in with Divine again, that taupey color we used on the brow bone area, and just use that to blend out the Muse color. I also wanted to mention some lovely ladies that have made red eyeshadow tutorials as well. I will have the links, well I'll have Erica's over here from the Gothic Sprite and the Diet Blondes version over here, so make sure you check their videos out. I think they're really awesome as well. It gives their interpretation for the red eye, red eyeliner, red shadow, whatever you want to call it, type of trend thing. So definitely check out their tutorials if you want more red, you know, ideas. 
Eyeliner is optional, but I like the look of it, so I'm going to use my Holy Grail NYC liquid eyeliner just because I like the look of the, it kind of pulls the look together, I think, in my opinion, but you don't have to do that. Just got eyeliner on my lid. Eyeliner ended up being a little bit more bold than I wanted it to be, but it's okay. It looks okay. Next we're going to take the Jordana Best, Best Lash Extreme Mascara and apply this to our upper and lower lashes. I always start with lower. You guys know that if you've been with me for a while because I have hooded lids and as soon as I do that, um, or this, after I've done that, it, you know, gets all over. I decided to go ahead and do a nude color because people have said that if you wear a dark color when you have Invisalign on and it gets on the trades, it can be hard to get off. So I actually have a product that I have not yet tried yet, so I thought I would do it on camera. Um, although it's a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, which you guys know how much I'm obsessed with them, so we'll all probably know how this ends up going. But I got a dark nude one. This is in the color Abu Dhabi, I want to say and it's just like a Kylie type of color. So I guess we'll pair that with the red. I don't, I don't know how it's gonna look, but. It's actually a really beautiful, like naturally type of nude color and it looks really good on the, well, looks different on camera than it does in the, uh, mirror but I really like the color. So that is the finished get ready with me for the red eyes so we can all move on now and move on to a new um, type of get ready with me. I'll probably do the Soothing Sista palette next with the purple lip that I wore. I love 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 that makeup. That's actually been kind of my go-to because it's so easy and there's no winged eyeliner and it's just really simple so that'll be coming up I think as my next get ready with me but I have a lot of video ideas and March should be really exciting because I will be posting my room tour and also a March lookbook. I just stuttered there. But also the March lookbook, which I'm sorry I missed February's lookbook. It wasn't planned. I really wanted to get that up for you guys. And I'm just moving the, the February outfits to the March time. So it should go up early this month. Um, and my birthday is this month and I'm very excited. Someone asked if I'd be opening my P.O. box around my birthday, which I would not do. That seems like it'd be asking for um, presents and I would never want to do that. So it'll be after my birthday. Um... So I don't know when I should open up my P.O. box. Let me know when you guys want me to open that. Probably ASAP from you guys. Make sure to leave below what hair color you think I'm going to do next and what color you think I should do next. Um, it looks really dark on camera. Wow. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, she's really getting good pictures. Oh, yeah. So now just gently close and let your lips relax for a minute. Good. How you doing? Okay? Yeah. All right.